good morning friends today we will learn that how to design any structure any building structure using etabs software so what is the etab software etab software is a structural engineering designing software and we could analyze or design any type of building any type of structure concrete structure steel structure uh, like trusses towers any uh, stories of building like g plus 1 or g plus 60 or g plus 200 whatever we could design here in this software and we could analyze it with using this software so let's start how to design it first of all the basic operations in etab software is we'll go to the general settings uh, the window that is open is called general settings will define the plan and then will but of course uh, the building will contain some material like concrete steel rebars will define that materials and then the materials properties will be added like it is a rectangular bar or a column of i section or anything maybe its uh, section properties will be defined then the column uh, will be assigned and the columns should be oriented and will provide a fixed support to the building or provide any kind of support to the beam and anything then will provide loadings there are many types of loadings that is generally provided on a building then will define the combinations of load will analyze the building and finally we will design that building okay so let's start here there are many menu menus like uh, file edit view define draw select blah 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 in file we select the file we open a new model uh, or open the existing model we could save a model or we could save in a specific position we could import any etab uh, any revit or uh, autocad file in the etabs and export etab file to revit and anywhere else and etc etc okay in edit menu we could uh, replicate we could do mirrors we could edit grid structures there is many more applications of edit menu then in view menu we could view 3d 2d plans plan section elevation sections and etc in define menu we define various uh, materials its section properties and of uh, slab like uh, or shells or beams and columns and etc etc in select menu we select or deselect the stories columns beams etc in draw menu we draw beams we draw slabs we draw, draw shells we draw columns etc in assign menu we assign the properties that was drawn like beam we assign properties to beam we assign properties uh, like fixed support and in analyze menu we analyze the whole structure in design menu we'll design the whole structure okay so you could start the model by tapping on file and new model or you could directly go from here new model okay so our new model is being created it might take a few seconds it's loading after creating a new model uh, some this window model initialization window will open and in this video uh, window you will see uh, first option as use saved user default setting if you have saved any user default setting before you could use that or use setting from a model file or you had made a model file and you want to use the same settings of that model file you can also use that or we generally use the third case here in display units you select your country's code mine is india so is asymmetric and steel database uh, in indian database and steel, uh, steel design code steel design code for india is is 800 and concrete design code for india is is 456 where it is yeah here it is okay so we'll define the units and then okay after okay this window uh, this grid window will open first of all we uh, we will give a grid window and some story height if your story is g plus 4 you will give 
the story height as six why we are adding two because one will be basement or uh, and second will be the terrace okay and the typical story height will be three meter the floor to floor height and the bottom story height that is basement would be 1.5 meter okay in uh, spacing if you add a regular spacing it will directly show the beams but if there is a plan given to you if there is a plan given to you then you should go for custom grid spacing let us imagine this is the plan that is given to you this is an architectural plan as well as structural plan okay so we will design for structural one okay now over here we will go for custom grid spacing and edit grid data so here this window comes in this window we need to edit the x coordinates and the y coordinates okay uh, how to edit in x coordinate and y coordinate so we have this structure and i had made some edit in that structure let's see this one okay i had made the line of action from the beams first beam at is at zero that is a is at zero the first beam as is at zero so our a is at zero second beam is at a distance from a the b distance from a is 3.23 so our second will be 3.23 okay then our third beam is actually i forgot to add a beam over here our third beam beam number c is of 1.13 distance from b but we need to calculate this distance from a so the total distance over here is 3.23 plus 1.13 that is 4.36 4.36 meter okay then the d beam okay the d beam and uh, let me add yeah yeah this one is beam number uh this is beam number c and this one is beam number d so beam number d is 1.35 meter distance from beam number c but uh, it is 3.23 plus 1.13 plus 1.35 distance from beam number a okay so the total distance is 5.71 distance so we'll take a 5.71 okay now the beams had been completed we'll add a new beam and we'll require one more beam i think okay in this again we'll go here the second beam is here but i had missed one more thing is this beam could you see this beam so this will beam all this beam also make a line over here okay so this is our beam number e the total distance over here is 3.23 plus 4.10 so it's 7.33 7.33 okay and the last beam is of 3.23 plus 3.13 plus 3.1 uh, point sorry 3.23 plus 1.13 plus 1.35 plus 2.63 distance from a so the total distance is 8.34 8 8 okay it's not working ha 8.34 so it's been done of x coordinate now we'll go for y coordinate okay in y coordinate the first is 0 okay the second one is this that is 2.25 meter so we'll add 2.25 over here and then second one c beam okay in c beam it is 
थ्री पॉइंट एट एट नो इट दिस थ्री पॉइंट टू थ्री दिस बीम या द बीम ओवर हियर दिस इज द बीम ओवर हियर एंड इट्स फ्रॉम हियर दिस इज ओके सो दिस बीम इज ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट टू थ्री मीटर सो विल एड थ्री पॉइंट टू थ्री ओवर हियर राइट एंड देन विल अगेन गो टू दिस डायग्राम द अदर बीम इज एट थ्री पॉइंट एट एट मीटर ओके सो विल एड थ्री पॉइंट एट एट ओवर हियर एंड इन फिफ्थ वन दैट इज दिस वन द बीम इज ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट टू थ्री प्लस थ्री पॉइंट टू सेवन सो इट्स सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव इट्स सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव एंड द लास्ट बीम इज एट फोर पॉइंट एट प्लस फोर पॉइंट सिक्स प्लस थ्री पॉइंट एट एट दैट इज एट पॉइंट सिक्स एट सो आर लास्ट विल बी एट पॉइंट सिक्स एट सो हियर ऑल दीज आर सेटल्ड सो यू एंड विल चेंज द बबल साइज You might be thinking, what are bubble size? So these round circles in which A and uh, alphabets and numberings are written, those are called as bubble size. We would change it to thousand. Okay, and then we'll go for okay, and then okay. So the model will open over here. A plan view and a 3D view will be open over here. in window 1 it's showing the plan view of that section and in window 2 it will show the 3d view of this model the model is similar so if we change anything on window 1 it will directly represent it in window 2 okay so it's loaded now we will go for one story there are two methods to create anything firstly we'll go directly to top story and in a uh, working plane we'll select all stories we'll go to top story and just draw the beams and the structure or we could go to a story or the basement story and then we'll add everything okay so we'll do like this we'll go to a uh, six story that is the top story and we'll select the working place as all stories and then we'll add the things to it okay so we have defined stories also right and we could replicate if we had accidentally done in one story okay now as i had told that in a building we use some uh, materials called as concrete if it is a concrete building or rcc building we use concrete and ribas if it is a steel building we use steel structures right so here it is a rcc building so we will define materials in define material properties will add a new material our material is of india uh material type is concrete it's indian and will add a m30 grade concrete here we don't have to change anything if you want to change the unit weight of concrete unit volume of concrete weight per unit volume then you could change over here but as i don't want to change anything i'll directly go on okay here we had added a concrete material now i'm going to add a steel the ribas the reinforcement material hysd 500 okay and it is hysd 500 okay and okay now this is the main steel now i will add for uh, ties or for um, the steel which is used to uh, tie the bars the main bars or the mild steel right and then okay and then okay so this is the uh, materials had been added m30 uh, as choice d500 and mild 250 and then we'll tap on okay so 
materials has been added to our structure okay now we'll go to design a beam okay uh, but first of all i think i could tell you that uh, we could assign the structures right uh, section will define some sexual properties like uh, it's a column section or it's something beam section okay then we'll go to define menu and then section properties and frame sections okay in this frame section we add a new property uh, it's a concrete rectangular and rectangular section will tap on that and the new window will open etap software is little slow please don't mind and we, we are adding a column section okay we'll name it as c o l u m n and for a better view we'll add a section but before that i will tell you here the column size is given as 230 by 450 so we'll add 230 by 450 only where the depth will be 230 and the width would be 450 okay now it's a column section that will take depth is okay we'll name it first 230 by 450 here the depth is 450 and the width is 230 okay then we had selected it and now oh sorry 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 we'll give the section these are the beam properties i think i'm really very sorry we'll change the properties to 300 by 600 300 by 600 those are beam properties i think so we'll define material m30 and uh, the depth will be 600 larger will be the depth and smaller will be the width it is 300 okay and now now it's depth and it's given and now we'll do modify ya show riba okay in this section if you have selected a column then you will select this and if you have selected a beam then you will select this in longitudinal bars as assigned you have select to hysd 500 and in confinement bars or ties you will select mild to 50 okay the clear covers for columns is 40 mm then you will press okay and again okay now you will add a new property for beam but before that you might not get confused i should assign the columns but i think we should add a beam property again okay so we'll add same concrete rectangular concrete section rectangular sections okay and the window will open we'll name it as beam 230 by 450 the beam material will be would be m30 grade concrete and the depth is 450 the width is 230 and we'll go for modify ya show rebar okay in this type we'll take for beam m3 design beam okay in this again hysd 500 and mild 250 for top clear cover for beams it is 30 mm and bottom also 30 mm okay then we'll go for okay and then okay and then a final okay okay now we'll draw a beam by this structure okay for drawing a beam we'll assign property to that beam a beam property is beam 230 by 450 we had assigned a beam property now we'll go for plan here is our plan we need to design these beams over here so we'll design like we will design the beam in a single single room make it clear you don't have to design the beam for a continuous one you just need to design a simply supported beam over a single room like this and then this point 
the computer is little slow you need to tap on that intersection point the left click on that intersection point and then close so first we have started from here then here then here and then close and then we'll press escape button to exit that command so you could see here beams on all flows has been designed okay now we'll do another rectangle we'll again go for a draw beam okay we'll go for a draw beam uh, i will select here this point and then i'll go for this point then to this and finally at this point we will not close the structure okay we will not add this beam because this beam has been added previously now again we have added this portion we had added this portion now this sunk area slab will add it okay we'll minimize it we'll again go to draw beam we'll give the property and now we'll add it do not overlap any beam do not draw the beam over another beam okay our model is slow like in this portion i had added a wrong beam so i'll go to select object i'll select this beam and simply press delete from keyboard it will be deleted deleted from all sto stories right it has been deleted yes it has been deleted from all the stories you could see in 3d rendering view now here is the structure we will need to draw this structure okay now we will go to draw beams and from this point to this point and then this point and then to this point okay and then we'll again take this point to this and join over here this and we'll do escape and we'll again take another beam add beam or draw beam This is the last point. Hmm. So the beam structures has been added. Okay. So this is a beam structure and the assigned beam properties has also been added to the structure. Now we will provide columns to our structure. So here it is column placed over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The column, uh, the beam is of 230 by 450, right? So, let it continue. Okay. Now we'll provide columns. We'll provide columns with this option. Quick draw columns. 
remember one thing while drawing quick draw columns it should be in all stories okay we'll select the property of column from here to the design column okay and it is playing uh, placing horizontal so the angle of degree is 90 okay so it will place vertically one it's placed second column is placed just remember the location of column where it has to be placed and then place it and place the column in the intersection point okay I'm placing the column in the intersection point and then here and last the vertical column with 90 angle of degree is this and then now I will change the angle of degree to 0 because my rest of the columns are of 0 angle of degree so it's now 0 and my rest of the columns are of 0 angle of degree okay so I will place my rest of the columns now So my all columns are placed now right I'll do escape button and my beams and columns are placed right now I will define the slab member okay and uh, first let me show you the extruded view see the structure will look like this you could see over here also the extruded view the structure will look like this so here you could see that the columns are going out right we will do that we will orient that columns very soon first let me tell you how to assign or define being uh, slabs or shells okay uh, now will go and defines section property for slab section go to define media uh, menu section properties and then slab sections okay add a new property and this new property will name it as one way slab and two way slab right firstly true way slab you have to design two types of slab two way slab and one way slab in two way slab the modeling type is membrane right it is membrane and then we'll provide the thickness of slab as 150 mm and then okay we'll provide one more slab as one way slab same slab properties add m30 and its membrane and the thickness is 150 mm and then we'll do for okay and then okay so for slabs we'll add a draw rectangular floor slab it's very simple we need to assign the properties first we'll assign one way slabs okay the one way slabs are the sunken area and the staircase area okay so just tap on the opposite and drag it and leave it so the slab will be created yeah the gray portion shows the slab then again 
tap on that corner point drag it escape if you had got error again go to rectangular slab section view and then just select this point this intersection point and drop yes the next slab one way slab has been done here then the third point drag it and drop to the interaction intersection point and the last one way slab to be drawn is in staircase section okay so this is the one way slab so here the slab has been assigned now we'll add two way slab property to the remaining flows same procedure to add two way slabs also but the property differs it's loading it might take time be patient keep patience and you could see the whole structure design so uh, all the slab members or shell members has been placed now we'll see the extruded portion of the column okay like this is the column we have to select uh, we'll go for extruded toggle view okay in this the column is here okay if i want to um, let me explain you wait for one second let me explain you more better okay this is a column okay let me take your column over here we'll minimize this so this is it this is your column okay now i'll add a pen of red and more thickness to it okay this is 300 and this is 600 right and this distance is 230 the beam size and this is also 230 okay so uh, we need to orient this column or we need to provide the offset of this column so this space uh, from different pen like uh, this space the column should go in downward direction and sorry from here the column should go this much downward direction and from here the column should go this much sideward direction the real uh, orientation of the column should be like this should be matched to the corners to view it properly so according to calculations 
this uh, this will go uh, how much distance it will come down so we'll take 600 minus Two thirty divided by two in y axis okay and same thing like this in x uh, in x axis it will shift from 300 minus 230 divided by 2 so its answer is 230 minus uh, 300 minus 230 is 70 70 divided by 2 is 35 35 in x direction it will move in positive x okay in direction y it will move in positive 600 minus 230 divided by 2 the answer is uh, 600 minus 230 what is the answer for 600 minus 230 first of all we'll check that this beam is of 230 or not we'll select this beam and double tap on that beam I will select this beam and double tap right click yeah the beam is of 230 okay so here it's 600 minus 230 the answer is around 400 minus 30 370 means um, 135 plus 135 plus 130 5 okay so we'll add uh, plus 35 in x axis and plus uh, plus 135 in y axis so how to add that thing first we'll go to assign we'll go to frame and insertion point and over here in insertion point first we will select the column while making box the column is selected in global axis in y in x what we have designed in x 35 and in y 135 in x 35 35 in y 135 135 and then apply and ok ok now we will check we will select this column a column has go outward direction we will select this column again we will go to assign frame insertion point global axis and we will add a minus to here ok minus point here because answer not always comes first time apply okay so let's check what happened over here okay so you can view over here that uh, column is perfectly offsetted you cannot find the column in one particular space you could have to give a trial and error we'll go for undefined shape to remove these dimensions right okay so uh, we'll proceed with these all columns one by one i don't have so much time so i will leave this and we'll proceed to load case details okay for load case details uh, first before that i will provide the support to the columns okay so first we have to select working story as 
one family before that will add a new window that's a 3d window it might take few more seconds to be open yeah Stories. Now we'll select this uh, sign frame intersection point and then apply and then OK. So you might see the nodal points X and Y, X in 35 plus direction and Y is minus 185 direction. Minus 185 means we'll going in downward direction and plus 35 means we'll going in right side of X axis. Okay, and then will go for undefined show undefined shapes so it will come to normal view then we'll add support we'll go for one story okay and then select plan view of base level we'll go here in plan and base level apply okay in this base level we'll delete all these labs okay because in base level slab will not be applied remember one thing you have to do one story over here and then delete except the staircase slab right delete So has it been deleted or not? Let's check it. Yes, let's delete this also. My computer is slow. I'm again very sorry for it. Yes, it has been deleted. Now I will select all the points all the points column points has been selected then I'll go to assign over here assign joint and restraints in restraints I will select fixed restraint and then I will press on apply and OK so this will apply on the, on the all the fixed supports will be applied to the Plan. if I want to check this has it been applied successfully or not we'll go to elevation we'll select any of this and then apply and ok so here this structure the fixed support has been added ok now we'll going to learn about how to add different types of load in our structure and we'll then ok this plan view and here it's written join restraints has been added now so let's study what are how to define load definition first of all I need to tell you there are different types of load which could be added on structure using e tabs uh, dead load live load wind load seismic load snow load today we are going to apply dead load and live load okay in dead load we apply different types of load like slab load wall load parapet wall load sunk load staircase load and overhead water tank load so we'll try to apply all these loads on our structure on our model today so let's talk about different types of load and here so first of all i would like to discuss with you about slab load in slab load the def uh, the formula for slab load is, slab load is thickness of slab into density of concrete plus floor finish but we had given the thickness of slab as 1.5 meter earlier 0.15 meter earlier and density of concrete in that beam and column session so we will not add this but we will add a dead load of floor finish that is one kilonewton per meter square in our model okay 
So let's go in a model. How to add the dead load or a floor finish? First, we have to go in a six floor plan. Okay, we are on a six floor plan. We will select a working plane as all story. Okay, then we'll go to uh, select menu. Go to select menu. Then we have to apply the floor finish on slab portion. So go to select, go to select and object types. In object types, as we have to apply on slab areas, we'll select flows and select. So all the slab areas over here has been selected and then we'll do close. Okay, then we'll go to assign. In assign menu, we will uh, add shell loads to it, uh, uniform shell loads. Okay, the load pattern is dead and the load of full, full, uh, floor finish is 1 kN per meter square which act in the direction of gravity and will do replace existing no loads and apply and then OK. So our floor finish has been added to our model. You can see that one 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 written in our 3D model. We'll go to undefined shape to remove that one 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 written over there. Okay. Now we'll add how what is wall load? Wall load formula is height of wall minus depth of beam into thickness of wall into density of brickwork plus the plastering load. So the height of wall is 3 meter and depth of beam is 450 mm. The wall thickness is 230 mm and the density of brickwork is 20. And we take plastering load may vary from 1.2 to 1.5 meter. So the approximate wall load will be 13 kN per meter. So we'll again go to our uh, E-Tabs model. Again, we'll go to select menu. We'll select object type. Walls are built on beams. So all the beams would be selected and closed. So you can see here all the beams are selected. Then we'll again go to select menu and we'll go to deselect. What we will deselect? We will deselect the terrace and the basement because wall load will not be provided in the terrace as well as in the basement. So we'll select stories. What was stories? Terrace stories, deselect and the basement story and deselect. Story 1 deselect. Yes, it has been deselected because story 1 is for parking space. So their wall is not needed. I think so. So we had deselected it and close. Now we'll go to assign. We'll go to assign. Assign what? We have to assign on beams. So frame loads distributed. In this distributed section, we will select first of all gravity load pattern dead and the load is 13 kN per meter replace existing load apply and ok so you may see in this 3d render 3d structure that wall load has been applied to our model on all the beams again we'll go to show undeformed shape so this wall load will be disappeared from here. Now the parapet wall load, right? So uh, the uh, formula for parapet wall load is height of wall into thickness of wall into density of brickwork plus plastering load. Height of wall is 1.2 to 1.5 meter. Thickness of wall is 0 0.23 meter, 230 mm. And density of brickwork is 20 kN per meter square. And as usual, plastering load varies from 1.2 to 1.5 meters and the load of parapet wall is around 8 to 8.5. Let's assume 8 kN per meter in our case. Okay, then same like uh, 
uh, wall will assign the formula is same but to select first we have to go to one story and working plane right in working plane we had gone to through one story now select all the boundary beams like this 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 and this this select all the boundary beams one by one the dotted line will show the boundary beams okay here the full beam has been selected because it was a continuous beam don't make this mistake again you have to escape it you have to select this beam go to edit we have to break this beam at a point so we'll go to edit and we'll go to edit frames and divide frames break at intersection apply and okay so the beam has been break into two parts at the intersection point right like this we have selected this part and we had selected the intersection point and apply the the beam sorry i had selected the slab make it very carefully so you might see that it has been divided uh, look at here i'm selecting this beam and then i'm selecting this beam right you can see over here also and deselecting this beam i'm selecting this beam then i will select this beam you could uh, refer the 3d plane also then i will select this beam and then this all the boundary beams i'm selecting such that i can make a parapet wall why i'm not selecting these because here wall will come because it's a um, staircase area right once i had selected all these i'll go to assign i'll go to frame loads and distributed and uh, it's 8 kN per meter gravity load pattern is dead replace apply and okay it's being processing okay so it's uh, showing me the 888 numbers that it has been applied then we'll go to undefined shape and after that we'll add a sunk load to our model the depth of sunk into density of brick work gives the formula for sunk load depth of sunk is 0.2 meter uh, which would be given in this situation and its brick work is 20 and so around 4 kN per meter square is our sunk load okay so here this shaded portion is our sunk load uh, look at here it is given 200 mm sunk means 0.2 meter sunk okay so we'll design for sunk load now we'll go to structure okay we'll again select one story and here we will provide a sunk load to the stories except the top and the bottom one right and then we'll go to plan menu for we'll go down over here from this move down in list we'll adjust we want to move up or down we are on story number 5 we'll select the slabs in the sunk like this okay and then again we'll move down we'll go to story number 4 we'll select it like this we'll move down wherever you have to provide the water closet and uh, uh, water closet and bath you have to give a sunk load in story number 2 
so I had selected all the slabs for sunk load then I'll go to assign then to shell loads and then uniform and then my load is 4 kilo and 10 per meter square dead and now I will not replace to I will add to existing load right if your load is added and one more load has to be added we will do add for existing load and uh, for remaining we'll do replace existing loads apply and ok the, if you have G plus 9, G plus 12 building flows then you might not be uh, selecting one by one nah? then you have just go to select menu go to select uh, and select all the stories except the top and the base floor right we'll go to select menu well, let it be 10 i think you have understand understood what i want to say let's move forward we don't have more time okay i'll tell you select menu go to select go to stories and accept top and first story select and close okay and then we'll go to design the staircase where's my pdf yeah uh, before this we'll design for staircase okay uh, this is a um, let us suppose this is a staircase design the rise is of 150 mm and the thread is of 220 mm so the dead load on staircase is the self rate of slab given by the formula 25d under root r rise square plus thread square upon thread these are the given values and this is the calculation 7.56 kilo and 10 per meter square uh, here i just showed you how to calculate the staircase load if you want to so We'll go in the structure. We assume share a staircase load as three to five kilonewton per meter square in between, and we'll apply the staircase load in the staircase path. We'll go on the plan view, and we'll go on the sixth floor. Apply, and okay, in the top floor. Okay, has we had reached the top floor in windows part will go to all story because we want to select the structure the slab of uh, staircase part of all story at once then we'll again go to assign and then shell loads we want to uh, use the uniform loads in dead load part uh, and the load would be around three kilonewton per meter square in gravity and add to existing load and then apply and okay it is as same as sunk load okay is it clear yes again we'll go to undeformed shape and i'll explain you how to add water tank load yeah this is overhead water tank load to add a overhead water tank load First, you need to design a special structure over here, right? To design a special structure over here, we need to go to edit, edit stories and grid system. We will uh, modify your show story data. And here we will add a new story. okay we'll select on quick add story and a new story has been added over here and then when go to okay right so here the new story above this will be added right one two three four five six there is the story number seven it's loading yes it has been added in story number seven you have to add just the staircase path or the, just the staircase beam so we'll go to one story here we'll mod draw beam structure in the staircase part because we have to draw a headroom we'll select the property and or we can also do one thing we can do a uh, go to um, let's do this thing let me teach you how to replicate any structure right we'll go to sixth floor okay i'll select 
this structure this beam this one and listen now this one is a continuous beam but i only want to select this beam so i'll first select this beam i'll go to edit view and then i'll go to edit frames divide frames and i'll select the intersection point and apply and okay so the the beam would have been divided from that section okay is the beam divided yes it has been divided i shouldn't be divided we make to divide it so the beam has been divided so we'll select all the beams of one story then we'll select all the columns okay and then we'll select the slab and then we'll go to edit menu and replicate replicate in x direction in y direction and then we'll take story 1 and replicate in story number 7 and apply okay let's see what all has been replicated in story number 7 if something is missing we have to replicate it again is it so let's go to story number 7 from here move up in the list and yes one beam is missing over here so we'll provide the beam of property beam and we'll provide it over here okay now i will provide a slab of that same property one way slab and from here to here so we had given slab we have given columns and beams now we will add wall loads okay wall load to these beams the lower beams right then we'll go to lower beams the beams of sixth floor then i'll select these beams keep working space as one story assign uh then frame loads distributed and then the frame loads are 13 dead load replace existing load apply and okay so a um, wall loads has been applied to that headroom sessions okay uh, we'll do show undeformed show uh, undeformed shapes right and then we'll go and see what is overhead water tank overhead water tank is a structure built on the overhead room and we can uh, we can calculate the uh, load on overhead water tank by self weight of water tank and plus water pressure and these two pressures add on the column points axial column points it doesn't act uniformly so if this is a water tank of 1.5 meter height 2 meter width and 3 meter length so the self weight would be two times area of that is area of front plus area of back uh, plus area of top plus area of bottom plus area of front plus uh, plus area of right side plus area of left side into thickness of wall into density of concrete so the answer is 155.25 and we could find out the volume of this uh, water tank uh, sorry volume of this uh, yeah overhead water tank by uh, length into breadth into height that is around 9 meter cube and we also know that 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liter and 1 liter is equal to 1 kg so 9 meter cube is equal to 9000 kg so the water pressure is equal to force the pressure is equal to mass into gravity mass is 9000 and gravity is 9.81 so it is the load calculated is 88.29 kN now the total uh, weight uh, the load is 155.25 plus 88.29 
okay and then uh, 243 around 250 we'll take 250 kilo newton because there are four columns one two three and four it should be divided on these four so we'll divide 250 divided by four that is 62.5 okay 62.5 kilo newton it will act in y direction that is negative 62.5 let it load okay then uh, how we'll do uh, go through that we'll go to one story and we'll go to seventh floor okay now we will select all the columns okay the columns are selected assign joint loads and force the force is in global z direction that is of minus 62.5 right and replace existing loads apply and okay if you want to delete any load then we'll just come here we'll do the same and in that we'll do delete existing loads and then delete so it has been applied and then we'll go to undeformed shapes and then okay now the dead load has been assigned now we'll assign the live loads okay uh, how to assign the live loads same on shell loads and first of all we'll go for all stories right then we'll select all the slabs I mean all the slabs we'll go to six story we'll select all the slabs and then we'll go to assign assign what assign shell loads because we have selected all these slabs then uniform shell loads okay the live load will take as 2 kiloton per meter square and we'll do add to existing loads and 2 kiloton is for residential building as per IS 875 part 2 and for commercial building is 3 kiloton per meter square and for institutional building it's 4 kiloton per meter square we'll apply and ok oh sorry we had done a mistake over here can you see that we had done a mistake we have to apply this load pattern in live load okay so we'll select all the floors again okay then we'll go to assign shell loads uniform and then we'll delete existing loads we can't do that uh -huh. here we'll go for live replace existing loads and apply we will do control z to undo a mistake now we will select all these slabs uh, not beams all these slabs and then we'll go to assign assign shell loads uniform but here we'll take live and add to existing loads assign ok so our live loads has been added successfully ok now we will provide load combinations to our section how to provide load combinations we'll go to define load combinations yeah here it is we'll tap on load combination we'll add a new combo and then for dead load will add 1.5 add for live load again will add 1.5 and will say ok and again will do ok and then undeformed shape ok so we'll go to design menu and again load combinations and we'll add default design combinations for here we'll add concrete frame design and ok and then again ok so 
so our load combinations has been added now we will uh, analyze this structure we'll go to analyze menu we'll first check model is there any uh, error or not we'll just take all these except fix okay we'll select all these except fix and length tolerate is 1 mm okay then we'll do okay and we'll see is there any error in our structure or not the check has been started for our structure So our structure has no errors then we'll go to assign and run analysis so our analysis is completely done you may see this structure would be deformed in such manner okay uh, like this you can see the structure deformation right and then we will design this okay we'll go to undeformed shape to return it to his def uh, to return from its deflection part okay and then we'll design it we'll go to design menu right and there we'll go to concrete frame design in this concrete frame design we will select start design check yeah check okay so uh, it has been started yeah this screen is visible to you the numbers are showing in the screen if the numbers is in black then it shows that the beam is proper it will not fail but it will pass but if the number is in red it shows that from there the beam will fail okay then if fail we have to redesign that section uh, we have to change the section properties and the number at the top and bottom are the area of steel these area of steel is given to find the number the number of bars we have to do the manual calculation in another lecture i will tell you how to find the number of bars from the area of steel provided now we'll find the column details from this section from the 3d view okay and now uh, if we design if we yeah from the 3d view we had right clicked on that and we had taken the column details these are the design of a concrete column okay here you can see the design of concrete column we will cancel it out and we'll go to models in models we'll see the reports in reports we'll see on project reports right we'll have to open this on double left tapping and it will open soon it's loading like many of us might be thinking what are the procedures to send the documents to the site then in stat pro we send all the required reports in one story at one at once okay now we'll go to any report the report is opening it's in progress let it open we do not need the 3d we could close it let it load okay guys so this is the report which is given by etabs okay we could see through it and uh, we could also find the structural data from here and the loads applied from here analysis results 
and uh, design data okay you'll directly jump to that and a summary report also you could view it from all over here let it be open might take some time yeah it's done this is the summary of nine pages okay so you can submit this to your contractor take a print from here and it's almost done so guys if you like my lecture and if you want me to add more uh, like this please like and subscribe my channel share to your friends as much as possible okay thank you so much guys for your support and care thank you